everyone! I'm going to be talking to you today about how to find the area of a triangle now. So again, um, just like when I talked about the area of a parallelogram, I'm going to start with the rectangle. So just a reminder, if I tell you that the length is 4 and the width is 2, we know that to find the area of that rectangle, it's length times width. And we know that that rectangle would then be 8 square units. Alright, so we can, how about we can work with that rectangle to find the area of a triangle because if you look here at my paper, I can actually take that rectangle and cut it into two triangles like this. So there's the rectangle, two triangles. Same rectangle, but now I have two triangles. So if you look really carefully, what I did was I actually cut this rectangle in half on a diagonal. So we know if the whole rectangle is eight, and I cut this rectangle in half, then one of these triangles must be four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the formula then to find your area of a triangle. You're actually going to start as if you're finding the area of a rectangle, which is length times width. But then, because I cut it in half to get that, that triangle, we're going to divide it by two. So that will give us half of the rectangle. So we know that length times width is 8 for that rectangle, but then I have to divide it by 2, and that will make the area of that triangle 4 square units. So when we are working with a triangle, just like the parallelogram, we're going to name the length and the width a little bit differently. It's going to be named base and height. Now I just want to remind you that when you take the height of a polygon on paper, you want to find the perpendicular height or the exact vertical height, not a slanted height. So for example, if you were working with a triangle like this, you don't want to try and find that height on a slant there. What you want to do is you want to count your units from from top to bottom going down in a, in a ver straight vertical line. So if I tell you that this base is 6 and this height is 3, that I can use the formula base times height divided by 2 to find the area of that triangle. So base is 6 and height is 3. And then I'm going to divide that by 2. So 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 2 equals 9. So that the, the area of that triangle would be 9 square units. So the area of a triangle is just taking the area of a rectangle and dividing it by 2. Naming it base times height divided by 2 as the formula. Have fun finding area of a triangle today.